गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल माई सेल निखिल मत्तानी एंड माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ वर्चुअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सम ऑफ द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द वर्चुअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स जस्ट लाइक द इंट्रोडक्शन द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ वर्चुअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ईच कम्पोनेंट वाइल सम ऑफ द एडवांटेजेस नाउ फर्स्ट वॉट इज द वर्चुअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉट यू हैव डिस्कस टिल नाउ अ वर्चुअल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज कम्पोज ऑफ सम स्पेशलाइज सब यूनिट some general purpose computer and some of software just like it is an instrument whose uh, whose uh, general functions and uh, just like capabilities are determined in software uh, while in any uh, computer we can simulate any other if we simply load it and the software can just get simulated with the other computer uh, it is a system which controls the measurement of uh, hardware devices from a desktop computer while it also tests the data or it measures some data from the panel and it displays on the computer screen uh, while if we put some light more on the some uh, virtual, virtual instrument we can see that uh, it extends to the computerized systems uh, just by con- controlling the process based data collected uh, by the pc based on the instrumentation systems uh, we have uh, what we can say um much applications regarding this system uh, in in industry we can see uh, automated processes such as chemicals or uh, manufacture plants uh, it has a good reliability safety opt- optimization and much stability is provides uh, the application ranges from uh, s- simple laboratory experiments and up to to large automation application uh, applications so this is all about the architecture how we can see here just like uh, information system uh, it sends and receives the data and same here from th- with the sensor module it also sends and receives data with the sensor interface and at last but not the least the data interface with the database both it sends and uh, receives the data now we can discuss more about this that uh, what are the parts of the uh, Uh, virtual instruments that uh, sensor module then uh, sensor interface and uh, processing module database and user interface so if we see then uh, uh, sensor module as first is a sensor module we can see it interfaces a virtual instrument to external to transform the measured signal into the computer readable form so once the data is in the digital form on the computer they can be displayed processed and stored in database or else uh, it can be converted from one form to another form just like uh, converted back to analog form for the control process while the sensor module interfaces virtual instrument to external to transform uh, measured signal from the computer we can say and basically the sensor module consists of the three main parts which is the the first is sensor and second one is the signal sense uh, conditioning module and third one is the analog digital converter so first one is the sensor sensor first only detect the physical signal from the environment while if we compare to signal conditioning module this module usually does the amplification uh, isolation filtration Uh, and many more things for the detecting signals and third one is the analog to digital converter the converter changes the detected and the conditioned voltage into a digital value so this is all about the sensor module and this is the first block from the bottom we can see now next come to the sensor interface what the sensor interface tells us uh, basically uh, there are many interfaces used for the communication between sensor module and the computer but according to types of the co- connections sensor module uh, sensor interface can be classified as wired and uh, wireless just we can see wired interface means uh, just like the parallel bus interface just like pci or serial bus serial bus just like rs232 or usb interfaces and other like gpib while wireless interface we can say uh, 802.11 family of standards wifi and bluetooth so this was all about the sensor interface now come to know about 
what the processing mo module is. Uh, processing module, uh, it has some of the common analysis used in the virtual instrumentation, just like filtering, windowing, peak determination, or a curve filtering. Now, the process interface is used in basically, uh, sorry, the percent, uh, processing function used in the virtual instrumentation may be classified into two types. First one is the analytic processing and second one is the artificial intelligence technique. The uh, analytical processing tells us about that uh, it defines about the functionality relation among the input parameters. It only deals with the input parameter. While compared with the artificial intelligence, it can be used to enhance and improve the efficiency. It also provides the good features to the instrumentation. While this technique provides us about the fuzzy logic, neutral network, and uh, export system are applied in such uh, applications. Now come to know about the database interface. Sorry, uh, database interface mainly. It is a computerization network which allows major data to be stored for uh, offline processing or to keep record as a part of record. So many of the virtual instrumentation use database management. While there are several DBMS uh, which are available such as SQL Server or Oracle to import and export of the data. Well, most of the DBMS provide SQL for enabling the transparent execution uh, over the database from different vendors. Now, come to know about the, another part of the system which is information system interface. Information system tells us that uh, we, uh, what we can say, some uh, virtual interface and toolkit such as LabVIEW provide mechanism for the different components such as uh, ActiveX objects which allows the communication with the other information system. Uh, BI integrates with uh, different uh, information system that can be used to execute dashboard, real time uh, alters and etc etc. Now according to the interaction capabilities we can classify them with dip in three groups. First one is the terminal user interface. Second one is the graphical user interface and third one is the multimodal interface. Terminal user interface tells us that it used for communication between a user and a computer uh, in pure text. While it also the, uh, tells us that when the user sends a request, when user sends request to the computer, it, typically, it gives typical command, typing command and receives response in the form of textual messages. These services may be uh, very important in distributing the virtual instruments and for the emergency alerts. While coming for the graphical user interface, GUI allows allowed creation of the many sophisticated uh, graphical uh, gadgets just like charts, table, graphs, meters, uh, uh, which are easily created with uh, many user interfaces. Uh, in addition, it, Im uh, it improves the presentation capabilities of personal computer, allowing for the development of various sophisticated 2D or 3D images technologies. Uh, now coming to the functional integration, if we see functional integration, sorry, we forgot about the multimodal presentation. Multimodal presentation is a combination of complementary models uh, that can be improved with the that can improve the perceptual quality of the user interface. Uh, in addition to GUI, it improves the uh, visualization uh, and it are capable of presenting the other mo uh, model T such as uh, sonification or uh, so something like haptic rendering. Uh, so, uh, so uh, sorry, son uh, sonification is the second most important part of this. Uh, now, coming to the last part, which is the functional integration. Functional integration tells us it is the simplest and the least flexible way to create a VI as a single, uh, uh, just we say, monolithical application 
with all software modules of the VI logically or physically integrated. Functional integration of model governs the flexibility of the VI. This approach can achieve the basic performance, best performance, but make dif uh, difficult and uh, maintain and customization. So here are the some of the advantages we are going to discuss that uh, how may they can be good or bad uh, uh, what are their uh, flex it, it can be flexible for the using some of their advantages listed below are performance and uh, flexibility platform independent lowering and uh, uh, more or also plugin and uh, network software so first if we see performance uh, many libraries which a large number of functions of data acquisition are provided here now coming to the platform independent it's a runtime environment makes the code portable across the platform uh, it can be run on any platform just like windows mac uh, mac or linux uh, another comes the flexibility flexibility tells us that uh, both the traditional instrument and pc vi uh, requires one or the more microprocessor for displaying as well as for data acquisition. Uh, if we differ, uh, VI devices differ from each other in flexibility and it can be modified or adopted to a particular needs. Now, lowering the cost means uh, if we have uh, it by employing the virtual cost, lower capital cost, or simple, we can say simply system development cost and system maintaining cost are reduced here. And thanks a lot for this. Thank you.